Hi everyone. Welcome to Quality in Food Safety 101. This is Arsalan. This is the second video in the series of basic food safety and today we are going to talk about hazards and its types. If you have not seen the first video, I suggest that you look at it first. It is talking about the introduction to food safety and the basic theme on which this whole series will go about. I will leave a link in the description. Go watch that and then come back and let's continue with the second video. As I mentioned in the first video, all the topics of basic food safety will be covered in this series. The list of these topics are there in the screen and today we are going to talk about hazards and types of hazards in food safety. The first thing to define or the first word to understand is hazard. The word hazard has different different meaning in different contexts. In health and safety it could be slip trip hazard for example. If you are driving a car the hazards are different and similarly in food safety the hazards are different. So let's talk about the word hazard. Any agent which can cause potentially illness, injury or harm to a consumer is called a hazard in food safety. Now the word potential is very very important to understand here. The hazard by itself, if it is controlled properly, it does not pose a problem. But if they are not controlled, then they have a potential to cause serious illness, injuries or harm to the consumer. Think of a hammer. A hammer is a very good tool, but if it not used properly, it can cause damage to the equipment or to the hand of a person. Similarly, all the food safety hazards are also having controls. If we control them properly, the hazard minimizes and there is no problems. But if they are not controlled, then they can cause, as I said, illness, injury or harm to the consumer. With regards to the types of hazards, there are two types of classification. The first one is based on the type of agent which is causing the hazard. So there are four agents which we normally define as hazardous, microbiological, physical, chemical and allergenic. With regards to the second classification, it depends on the method by which the hazard is affecting the food industry or the food itself. There are three methods by which any hazards affect the food that is contamination, multiplication and survival. For each of these hazards, I will make a separate video. As I showed you in the table of content, contamination, multiplication and survival, each of them has a different module and will have a separate video. Today we will just build the concept for them and then in the next video we will go in more details. So let's talk about microorganisms. Microorganisms are not visible to our eyes. They can be bacteria, viruses, fungus, all these things. And they are one of the biggest problems for the food industry. Since we cannot see them, it's a very big challenge to control them and they affect the food in multiple ways. So let me show you how do the microorganisms affect the food industry. So microorganisms can do contamination, they can do multiplication since they are living things and they can do survival. So these are the only living hazard in the food industry. The other three hazards, physical, chemical and allergens, they are all dead. They are dead materials basically physical materials but the microorganisms are alive that's why they can do multiplication and survival and along with that contamination as well so since the microorganisms affect the food in all three methods they are the one of the biggest hazards for food industry secondly we have the physical hazards these are the dead material which are visible to our eyes which we can see them like maybe metal uh, objects or uh, hairs of food handlers or any other thing which are visible and they are also a hazard and they cause contamination in the food industry. Metal objects can be very dangerous. They can cause damage to the mouth or the throat of a customer and they will be very unpleasant also since they are visible. Imagine that you are eating a sandwich and you find the hair inside the sandwich. So obviously as a customer you will not be happy. So chemicals. Chemicals like pesticides or fungicides or cleaning chemicals, if they go inside the food, they can cause very severe damage to the body of a consumer. In short term exposure also, in long term exposure as well. 
chemicals as a result cause contamination in the food and they affect the food industry like that there have been a lot of cases of chemical poisoning and when we discuss this topic in contamination video in detail we'll talk about some of them last hazard is the allergenic hazard there's a group of ingredients which cause allergic reaction some people are allergic to certain food items like flour which has gluten some people are allergic to nuts some are allergic to fishes or shellfishes so if the consumer by accident consumes these food there will be allergic reaction in their body the manifestation or the effect of allergic reaction is through contamination as well again we will talk about this in detail so just to summarize agents like microorganisms they can do contamination multiplication and survival all three types of hazards physical chemical and allergenic hazards they can affect the food only through contamination so now you can see in this table that why microorganisms are one of the biggest problems which we face in the food industry and we need to control them as i mentioned that we will make a more detailed and long video for contamination in detail where we will discuss about physical chemical microbiological and allergenic contamination one by one but today only i want to show you the top line that what is the meaning of contamination so anything objectionable in food this is the simplest version basically anything objectionable in food is contamination let's suppose i ordered black coffee maybe i am allergic to milk or maybe i am not but i want to drink black coffee today and somebody by mistake puts milk in my coffee this milk currently is contamination for me because i did not want it another way to understand contamination is presence or entry of a hazard into the food so let's suppose you purchase something from a supermarket and a hazard is already present in that food item whether it is microbiological physical or chemical or allergenic hazard it's already there that's the meaning of presence of the hazard or in second scenario the hazard is introduced during the operation while processing that food item the hazard is introduced that's also contamination so for example during working time cleaning is happening and the cleaning chemicals by mistake go into the food item that's a chemical contamination or during working a food handler scratches his hair and the hair falls into the food so that is a again a physical contamination and other other examples are there as well so presence and entry of a hazard is also contamination similarly to contamination i just want to explain to you the basic concept of multiplication as we will later on make a longer video about it multiplication is the growth of microorganisms microorganisms don't grow in size just like human beings do or animals do a uh, uh, human being is born as a baby and then they go into an adult then they reproduce but microorganisms grow through increasing their numbers that is called as multiplication so one bacteria will become two bacteria two will become four the scientific term for this is binary fission and i will discuss about that in detail in the multiplication longer video but for now microorganisms grow through multiplication they increase their numbers through multiplication so this is a small number of microorganisms and if they have all the things which they need to grow like food water and proper temperature and ample amount of time they will grow into larger numbers and this is called as multiplication so the last hazard is survival again only living things can survive the things which are dead they don't have the ability to survive or not to survive so microorganisms are only the living hazard so they try to survive at the time when they face an adverse condition like heating for cooking or chemical sanitation so some of the microorganisms try to survive only very few microorganisms have this property and that also are only pathogens not all of them so survival is also a big hazard if we do not control this microorganism will survive and then they can cause infection in the body through food this diagram is showing that how survival works there are a lot of microorganisms and when we try to destroy them there are multiple methods of killing microorganisms including cooking or heating or other methods so let's suppose we are heating the food and in that food there are a lot of microorganisms very few of them will survive this is a survival hazard so in this video i just wanted to introduce to you 
different types of hazards in the food industry. Just to recap, with regards to the agents types, there are four types of hazards, microbiological, physical, chemical and allergens. And with regards to the way these hazards affect the food industry, there are three methods, contamination, multiplication and survival. If you like this content, stick around, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell icon and like the video. In the next one, we'll talk more detail about contamination. See you next time.